what is up guys today i'm going to show you how to follow the player without having the main camera as uh, attached as a child object so let's do this uh, click on the main camera create a script call it camera follow oh my god yes and then just go on to create an ad so here is what we're going to do we're going to tell the camera uh, that that the camera's uh, position should be the same as as the player's position but it should have a distance between them uh, so this is what we call an offset and i will just show it to you over here so we're going to write uh, our public public transform target so we're going to like reference the player in some way right but also just write player or maybe target player and under here we will say uh, vector free offset equals new vector free and then just give it some some values let's just say we want it to on the x-axis uh, we don't want it to change we want it to be in the middle so right over here it should be in the middle but on the y and on the z-axis it should it should change so we want the camera to be like 10 units high and minus 10 units back and we're just gonna rotate it like this. So let's just say 10 units high and minus 10 units back, the Z axis. So this is our offset. Now in the beginning, we actually, we don't need to do anything here. Uh, let's just say uh, this camera position. What, what am I typing? So we are saying this camera's position should be the same as the target player the position and we also want the offset so what did we just write first up we created some variables so we create a variable uh, to reference our player and we created another var variable to create a distance between them so we have some space and here is what's what's going to happen if we don't create any uh, space we don't create any distance between them so yeah first off let's just uh, attach the player so we want the player this player to be attached to this camera this is what happens if you don't create a distance the the camera just uh, follows uh, just follows the player but it's it doesn't have any distance and we just wrote that the camera should be the same distance as the target player's position and here is what happens if you actually give it a distance or an offset you see where is it over here and it did it automatically so this is an offset and it has the same position no it has the same position as a, as a cube but it keeps an offset so yeah, that's basically it. Uh, we cannot actually test it by moving the player. You see, it follows the player with a script. So that is a lot better. Um, now, usually with physics, you, you will usually put an, a fixed update over here, but that's not necessary because this is not some eSport game and you're only a beginner. So don't don't even think about that. Uh, don't worry, I mean, don't worry about that. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like this video, and comment down below. See you in the next one.